Good morning. What is going on with my screen? Good morning. How are you this morning? Good. Awesome. Uh, little technical difficulty here. Just trying to get my camera back on. Can you guys see me? I can see you. I can see you too. Well, hey, I might look crazy. I can't see me. <laughs> there I am. Okay. I don't like not being able to see myself. See, because my hair is sticking up. Nobody's going to tell me that. It's going to stick up anyway. Well, good morning. Good morning. We are running like crazy people around here a little bit today. I just fell down a flight of stairs. Ouch. So anybody that says I'm going to bust my butt this year, I think that's a terrible idea. That hurts. <laughs> Don't think it'll make you go any faster or better. But uh, there's that. Um, we are going to jump into this call here in just about 30 seconds. Um, everybody doing okay in the new year? Have your coffee? Doing great. Coffee in. <laughs> Yeah. Is that owner's iPhone? Who is that? This is Keith Leducer with, uh, in Nashville. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, Keith, and good morning. So, guys, um, I usually like to wait a minute just to see if people are going to hop on, but I appreciate you guys being here on time, and I've got appointments after this, too, so we're probably just going to go ahead and kick into what we're doing. Um, uh, it, Sandra and Keith, are you guys both with EXP or are you just checking out um, our model? Yes, I'm with EXP. I, I'm with EXP as well. I thought hopefully so. I have a couple of people that I've invited join in this morning. Do what? I said, hopefully I have a couple people invited uh, this morning join in. <laughs> awesome. Sandra, do you have people jumping on this morning? Yes, I do. Okay, well, let's do this. Why don't you guys, um, why don't we chat for just a minute and see if we can't so that they don't miss anything too much. And um, once we see another one or two people hop on, we'll kick into it. We'll give them a couple minutes, text them. Be like, I'm here. Are you? <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Can you guys hear my dog barking or is it just me? I can't hear him. I, I can't hear him either. Okay, well, if it's just me, I can live with it. It's driving me crazy in the background. <laughs> I, I looked outside and my son, my, I have three, three-year-olds. So one of them had my husband's fishing pole. They all have their own fishing poles that do not have hooks on them. They just have like the little beginner whatevers. But I look outside, I hear one kid screaming and the other kid has my, my husband's big fishing pole, which should have a hook attached to it. And he's holding his hand like he's dying and he's screaming bloody murder. And so I'm in the kitchen, I can see like out the windows and I can hear, so I run around the corner and I'm like, what's going on? And he's holding his hand and I'm trying to figure out, do you have a hook in your hand? You know, like I'm trying to get to him and I take one step down the flight of stairs to the landing and I mean, bit all five of them, just wow. pull back all the way down. And then I'm screaming for my husband, Paul, you know, like I thought I broke something. It hurts. <laughs> It still hurts. Oh my goodness. And That's we not good at all. 1920s house, and I guess he couldn't. Then, I, then I'm getting angry because I'm screaming for help. Okay. My other kid is still screaming. I don't know if he has a hook caught in his hand. Turns out he did not. He was just being a dramatic three year old, which did not make me happy. <laughs> then we had a conversation about that. Don't scream about things if you're not bleeding. Like, ooh, that was all in the last 15 minutes. Oh, wow. I'm recovering <laughs> at the moment. I'm trying. Oh, my to goodness. Hey, Jennifer, welcome to the call. Thanks for joining us. So, well, we're fixing to jump into our, our morning call. I know people are still uh, working on getting here, but if everybody, if you look in your bottom left hand corner, you can mute your mic and or turn on your camera. I love to see a face, so I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. So feel free to say hi to me. Hey, I see Keith there. Um, turn on your camera if you want to. You can, I don't care where you're at. You can be outside, walking, driving. Just don't 
you know, do too many things while you're driving. But anyway, I'm Sunshine Callahan. It's really nice to meet you guys this morning. I was just sharing with them what the last 10 minutes of my morning had been. And it's, let me tell you, been adventurous. But uh, I am a realtor by day, rock star by night, and a mama always. I've got an amazing uh, husband and life partner, just business partner, everything. We do everything together. So he probably wants a break from me most of the time, but um, he's the honey badger, Paul Callahan himself. Good guy, native Floridian and an avid fisherman and daddy to these five rambunctious kiddos. We have three three-year-olds. Yes, you heard me right. Three three-year-olds, a six-year-old and a six-month-old that we're in the process of finalizing their adoption. So we're a blended family through foster care and adoption and we have a lot of fun and we're a little crazy, but we like it that way. It's all good. Professionally, we started um, real estate in 2015. So looks like we've made it five years, y'all. I mean, they say if you make it three years, you'll probably stick. And if you make it five, you're golden, right? Mm, I don't know. Maybe I made that up. But we are Rookies of the Year for the state of Florida in 2015 uh, with well over 100 homes sold. We're 100% referral based. So um, we don't buy leads. We don't do a lot of um, other things that are recommended and that a lot of other successful agents are doing. This is just how we've chosen to run our business. It's worked for us and we're really passionate about showing other agents how to do the same. So if you ever have questions about that, Holler will tell you what we know. Um, might not be much, but it's working. <laughs> um, let's see. So how did we wind up at eXp? Well, Jay Nelson and his lovely wife, Ashley, sent us a text message. Maybe you got a text message from somebody uh, telling you about this thing and text message it was. So we get a text message and the next thing you know, uh, we're checking out EXP. I was, I was pretty happy where I was at. I was at a hundred percent and didn't really think that I needed much more than that, but got my phone. And next thing you know, Jay and Ashley are like, you gotta, you gotta check this thing out. So I'm, give me one second. I need to grab my little prop because I have my routine here and I'm messing it up. So this is a one-on-one with sunshine for life, right? I'm like, I have like realtor itis. Like if my phone's not near me, I get stressed, but I also didn't um, put it on silent. So let me fix that. So yeah, get a text just like you did. And it said, Hey, we're superstars in Nashville. Essentially. I mean, they were much kinder than that and much more humble than that, but you know, Jay is a rock star. So we're rock stars in Nashville. We're doing all this stuff. Heard you're a great producer. Would love to talk to you um, and see what you've got going on in the Orlando market. And I'm thinking you're from Nashville. I'm from Orlando. There's nothing you're going to offer me here, but you're a friend of a friend. So we'll take the call. And that's what we did. And maybe that's what you did. So thank you for jumping on the call today. Thank you for being here. I think we're going to show you some things that are really new in our market and in our industry and, um, you know, see what you think of it. So we are in the central Florida market. So if you have any buyers coming this away, we'd love to help them or somebody in our group here would love to help them. One of my favorite innovators is Walt Disney. I love um, what he created, what he was able to accomplish and what he was able to share with other people. So Walt, um, he's quoted as saying, you know, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. And I think that's exactly what eXp is doing. They've done something that previously was considered impossible, right? Agent ownership or part ownership. Glenn Sanford is just genius. He's, he's very smart guy. He's very humble. Like uh, the few times that we've got to meet him and talk with him, he's just really neat. So that's my husband hanging out there with, um, with him. And, you know, if you get the opportunity to meet Glenn, do it, say hi to him, shake his hand, talk to him for a second. But one of my favorite quotes coming into this thing was that, um, EXP is a mathematical equation to agent ownership. So what does that mean for us? <laughs> well, it's a mathematical equation to agent ownership. And it, it's part agents, uh, it's part ownership with a whole bunch of people across the country and across the world at some point, right? Because we are publicly traded and we will talk about that in just a moment. But everybody is talking about EXP. What is EXP? What are they doing? Where are they doing it? Um, I'm starting to see the signs pop up everywhere. I was showing houses yesterday in my area and we showed like eight houses, which is, you know, marathon showing and 
two of them were EXP. I was like, yeah, baby. So they're starting, you're starting to see our name creep up more and more amongst great agents in our communities. But we didn't just show up yesterday. We have been here for 10 years. So we just celebrated our 10 year anniversary. Um, you can take a screenshot of this screen if you want to, but probably most notably, I would like to say that 2013, we became publicly traded. 2018, um, we were uplisted to the NASDAQ. So uh, that's a big deal. Only 50 companies in the entire like company of companies made it onto the NASDAQ that year. So that's, that's a huge accomplishment for us as um, a real estate company, as agents that are part owners with it. And I just think that it's worth looking into. So you can follow us at our ticker is EXPI. Um, I don't pretend to be like the biggest stock person in the world and know how to do all that, you know, grossly. So check with other people like Jay and my husband and others that, that really follow that even stronger. But what a neat thing. We are growing by leaps and bounds. Like every time I turn around, I'm having to update this slide. Okay. So there are well over 23,000 agents with eXp right now. I don't even want to guess what the actual number is because I haven't updated this since like I think early December. So we were growing by about a thousand agents a month. So you can guess that we're somewhere in that 24 to 25,000. If somebody knows, you're welcome to pop in or put it in the comments. Almost 27,000 agents. Boom, 27,000 agents. And Andy Shock, I'm not gonna lie. You just made me nervous, bro, because I lost my entire train of thought when I saw you come on the call. Why? Because you're my state broker. You guys, we have our state broker on the line. I'm not listening in. Do your Welcome thing. to the call. It's the first. Yeah. I was like, is that who I think I'm like looking and I'm like trying to talk? So I got all discombobulated and had to get my phone and recompose myself. So oh, I'm better now. Yeah. I'm better. Like, am I in trouble? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm just listening in. Awesome. Well, we're glad that you're here. And uh, anything that we can update, you let me know because, yeah, you know. So 27,000 agents across the board. Um, we are in all 50 states, seven provinces of Canada. We've opened up the UK and Australia, and I'm told that we've got several other countries on the docket for this year. So stay tuned. Um, I'm brushing up on my Spanish. I don't know, maybe German. I have no idea where we're going exactly, but I know we are going there. So, um, if you have friends that are in real estate in Australia or the UK, feel free to connect them with the team here and they will do a great job of explaining what we've got going on. So a good hockey player plays where the puck is, a great hockey player plays where the puck is going to be. It's a great quote, right, by Wayne Gretzky. I'm not the hugest, hugest of, um, you know, what you call it, hockey fans, but I do understand the principle of that. Wherever we are going, we need to we need to be ahead of that. Like you need to be forward thinking. And as a mom, parent, uh, person in general, like we have so many things going on in our world. I really just didn't have the time to be constantly worried about where's the industry going? Where's the technology going? So EXP did a great thing in involving, like they, they found the way to put all of that technology out there for us that we could use it as agents. And to be honest, I, I don't even use all of it. There's so much available. Um, you kind of have to pick and choose sometimes and, and learn as we go. But we're quoted as being the Amazon of real estate. What does that even mean? What does it mean? So Walmart versus Amazon, right? Check out this slide. Last January or about 18 months ago, January, Walmart had closed 269 stores. That is a lot of retail space to be closing down as a business, all right? Don't you wish you were a commercial realtor for Walmart? because you would be very busy right now. And it's because Amazon has taken a part of their market share. And you know that that's true because we all grew up going to Walmart. I know you did. And at some point that has transitioned to this, my phone. I lay in bed at night. We went on a cruise last year. I never went to Walmart to pick up any last minute things. Every time I thought of something, oh, I need hooks or I need this or I need that. I just Amazon it and the next day it showed up at my house, kind of primnesia-ish, right? Any of you over the holidays have that like, Okay, don't open that box. And we don't even know what's in the box because I didn't know if I ordered it, my husband ordered it. We're using technology in so many areas of our life. Airbnb, when I was a kid, I could stay at a hotel or at my grandma's house. Now I can stay at your grandma's house, right? Because all she has to do is list her home with Airbnb and she's going to toe to toe with Hilton. Again, technology just changing the way that we do things. 
Netflix ate Blockbuster for breakfast. It doesn't even exist anymore. It took five years, guys. Five years. And Blockbuster, the biggest entertainment chain that we all knew, grew up with, going to, gone. Gone forever. Sad face, right? Not really, because I can sit on my couch. I don't have to worry about if the DVD or VHS or whatever is there anymore. And I can just order it. It's fast. It's friendly. It's awesome. Uber is destroying the yellow cab taxi franchise. Taxi is a franchise. And what did, what did Uber do? Uber said, we've got an app for that. We're going to put it on your phone. We're going to make you business owners. You use your own car. How does that relate to us in this real estate space? Like EXP is like, you can use your own house. You can use the Starbucks down the street, the Panera. You can use Regis. We have a membership with Regis where all of our agents are able to use a Regis office across the nation, anywhere in the world. We have a membership that you can use it anywhere in the world, right? And you can have an office anywhere. So again, it's just changing. So we don't call for a taxi anymore. We call an Uber, a Lyft, right? Just saying, it's changing. And we don't seem to mind it too much once we get comfortable with it in these other spaces. I don't know about you guys, I'm gonna have to add to this Instacart. Hello, love me some Instacart. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but Instacart is uh, saving me time and saving my life right now. Like you forgot milk, you forgot cereal, you forgot whatever for the kids, you put it in and it's showing up the next morning at 10 o'clock and you know, babysitter picks it up or whatever. It's awesome, it's fantastic. So innovation through technology is happening in just about every single area of our life. And that's all EXP did, right? We just happened to be the first ones innovating in the real estate space in a big, powerful way and in a way that really helps you all. So EXP is innovating in this space. Nothing to be scared of, just change. Change is coming. So what is EXP? Let's talk about this for a second. We are one company, we're not a franchise, all right? You cannot buy us, but you can join us. So we're a cloud campus, we have live training, real-time support, international collaboration, and a super powerful equity opportunity. We're gonna talk about every single one of these. If you're just joining us, thank you for joining us um, over the course of this call. We're about to jump into kind of the nuts and bolts of what EXP is. Um, and how I can tell you up front, since we've been with eXp for 16, about 16 months, and um, our, our personal sales and volume have doubled, okay? So over, the, over, the, over a 12 month period from January to December, which is how I've always calculated my sales, I was licensed um, in 2015 in January. So I've always calculated my sales January to December. So I'm going to show you everything that eXp is doing with their agents and, and for the real estate community. But I want you to know personally, Paul and I, our sales have doubled this year, our transaction count and our production level. So, and I contribute, you know, all of that really to being here because nothing else in our business changed. This is eXp is what we changed. So um, stay tuned. I'll show you those numbers at the very end of this call. And we're going to get through all kinds of things. We're going to talk about everything, Cloud Campus, live training, our support, the collaboration, and our equity program. But first and foremost, because I know real estate is full of I types and D types, let's go ahead and get the numbers out of the way. Commission and caps. We've got an 80-20 commission split for a $16,000 cap. That's 3% of $2.7 in sales in a perfect real estate world. So in my local community, that's about 10 to 12 homes. And then you're capped. For some of you, you should stop right there. You would be making more money just with that. An 80-20 with a $16,000 cap going to 100%, we have no franchise fee, right? So you're at a true 100% uh, for the rest of the remainder of your calendar, or not calendar year, but your anniversary year. So Paul and I, we started August 1st of 2018. Um, so we just completed our first year and then we started this next year and by September 15th from August 1st to September 15th of 2019 we'd already capped so we're already back to 100% for the entire year. Baller! Yeah! Thank you Jesus! All right so the standard cost is 149 startup fee. That's nothing. Buck 50. You're in. Let's do this. 
You have a $50 a month tech fee, $35 a month university fee. We're going to talk about all of these things, what comes with that. $25 broker review fee. And if you're really nice, he'll jump on your call. Um, a $40 risk management fee and boom, you have it all. It's pretty, pretty stinking simple. Take a picture of the slide, review the details, talk to us if you have any questions. Um, some of these fees and caps go away after you've hit you know, different benchmarks or whatever so that you're not just constantly paying out. So you guys, this has been a game changer for us. It's been good news for agents across the country as we've talked to them. What I want you to think about right now is typically as a real estate agent, we think like, we think locally, right? Because we're in our local market, we're, the, we're with our people. And that's why they wanna work with us, right? But for just a minute, I want you to think globally. I want you to think not just local, but hyperlocal, like, or not hyperlocal, that would do the opposite way. Just think global. <laughs> All right, think national. What if you could leverage not only yourself, but your team or the people that you do real estate with that you enjoy and appreciate across the country and maybe even internationally? What if that was a possibility for you? What if you didn't have to um, buy into a franchise or, you know, do all the things that are required to become a licensed broker, et cetera, et cetera, but you could still build your business? That's what eXp is allowing you to do. There are over 70,000 agents joining our industry every year. Now, I'm not saying they're all doing great. They're not. We know that. We know the numbers. But they're still joining you. And every time I get in line at the grocery store or this or that and the other, somebody's like, yeah, I'm an agent. I'm an agent. I'm like, holy cow, everybody in here is a licensed agent. That's ridiculous. And that could be overwhelming to you if you're vying with every single person for the 40 houses or 50 houses you're going to sell this year. But what if those people become friends? What if those people become colleagues, partners in the business? What if you can look at every single person that you meet from now on for the rest of your career as a partner in real estate versus the competition in real estate? A, I can tell you this, it's a lot less stressful. It's a lot more fun. And so far it's been a lot more lucrative. So I'm gonna show you how. So stop, stop thinking totally local about just the little houses that you're gonna list and sell and the community that you're in and start thinking national about all the people that you know doing real estate around you. EXP is brilliant. They took, I always think it's wise when people learn from other people, learn from other companies. They took aspects of what I would consider the Keller Williams model with it being seven levels or seven generations. And instead of profit share, they flipped it to revenue share because what is profit share? I have not met anybody yet that could tell me like that could do the math for it. When I, when I interviewed with Keller Williams, um, I was not a Keller Williams agent, which I think it's a great company, but I didn't go there because he couldn't do the math for me. He's like, yeah, if you bring these agents in and da, 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 you'll get something. We have a lot of people getting a lot of something. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So I went to a different company. I went to exit. And at least there they could say, hey, if you brought one person in, we could give you this. And they could tell me exactly what it was pretty much. I was like, that makes a little more sense to me. So that's where, that's where I hung my license when I started. But KW was really smart. I used to work with um, Target and HR type situations. And retention is a thing. And I remember when I first came to real estate, I was like, my goodness, the retention here is crazy. People are just like changing real estate agencies and like underwear or something. And what I think this was, is I think it was a retention plan. I think it was a way to keep agents here. For us, it is well more than that. It is a retirement plan, guys. It's not retention, it's retirement. You were able to share this opportunity, this system, this model, and anybody that says, well, it's just like da da da, then they didn't listen well, because it's not. And maybe I did a bad, I, hopefully I don't do a bad job of explaining it. So seven generations deep, um, is the way this can go. It is revenue share. It's right off the top. It's not profit share. What that looks like is this. Let's say me, Sunshine, I bring Sandra over. And Sandra is a productive agent. She can sell 10 to 12 houses in a year. You know, she's a capping agent. Maybe she sells 20 houses in a year. Here's the thing. You don't have to be a multi-million dollar producer to be productive at eXp and to benefit from what eXp has to offer you. 
Okay. We just, we want people who want to learn, who are like-minded that the culture fits, the vibe fits, and we're going for it. All right. And I guess what, if that's who you are, you're going to grow. You can't not grow in that atmosphere here. So let's say we sell a house. We sell a $300,000 house. So EXP says, thank you so much, Sunshine, for, you know, bringing Sandra to the, to the company and she's doing a great job. And they're going to pay the agent, the referring agent, a referral fee, basically, of 3.5% in gross commission. So a $300,000 house, $9,000 commission equals a $315 check. Is everybody tracking with me? That's a good little staycation. That's a car payment. I don't know. It's whatever you want it to be. It could be groceries for the month. If somebody's, it's, ugh, I just lost my train of thought again. But anyway, so Sunshine brings Sandra. Sandra brings Randy. So Sandra comes, she's enjoying it. And she's like, wow, that's pretty cool that that's working that way. My sales are doing better. At least that was our experience. Our sales doubled. So sales are doing better. Everything's working out. Sandra brings Randy. And Randy says, that's pretty neat. I'm coming on board. Now EXP says, thank you, Sunshine, for helping Sandra. And then helping Sandra help Randy. And again, a referral fee back to the agent of $3,200. That's, that's with a capping agent. So over the course of time, and something that people get really confused on in this part, and I just want to take a minute to explain, is that you do not have to be a capping agent. It's every single transaction up until you cap. Once you cap, you go to 100%. So there's nothing coming in, right? Until they roll over to the next year, the anniversary. And I think it's important for people to understand because sometimes we're like, well, maybe I'm not a capping agent or I'm close to, it doesn't matter. Whoever you're bringing on, we're, first of all, we're going to help them be capping agents because there's no reason on God's green earth, in my personal opinion, that we shouldn't be able to help every single agent out there achieve that goal. There's just no reason. The tools are here. They're available. The training is here. It's available. Plug in. You're going to get there. Um, so, but every single transaction that they do, the company is paying a percentage of revenue, the company's revenue, not the agent's, the company's revenue back to the referring agents. So I think it's, it's, it's awesome guys. What if, and this is just hypothetical. I saw this slide or something very similar to it when I first came to EXP and it kind of got my, got my creative juices thinking a little bit. So I'm going to do, let's see, last year we did 36 transactions. All right. So I'll just use my own number. So out of 36 transactions, what if I talk to at least half of those agents? I don't want, I don't know if I want every single agent I ever meet at EXP. I like our culture and I'd like to keep it that way. But let's just say that I had a conversation with half of them. That's 15 agents. Out of 15 agents, let's say that 10 of them got on a webinar similar to this or Brent or Jay or somebody. And they're like, you know what? This makes sense. Like, this makes sense for my business, the longevity of it, et cetera, et cetera. So what if those 10 agents come over, they're capping agents, they're productive, the company helps them to get that way, even if they didn't start that way, they end that way, okay? So you have 10 friends that you've met or that you are doing transactions with over the course of whatever time it takes. I mean, most of you are gonna do real estate for the next five years, 10 years, 15 years. I don't know what your plan is, but you're going to be here for a while. Right. And that's what I told my husband. Like, this is not a get rich quit. This is just us working. But if the company wants to add another level of, of revenue to our home, I'm in it. So 10 friends at $2,800 annually, that's $28,000 a year guys in residual income. That's insane. That's awesome. You could buy a new car every year or something. I don't know. Send a kid to college for at least a semester. I don't know. Tuitions are getting crazy. All right. So, but what if you help those same 10 friends do the same thing? Because they have 10 other friends that you're not friends with, right? They're going to, they're going to sell 30 or 40 houses next year. And out of those 30 or 40, maybe they'll have 15 or 20 conversations. And out of those 15 or 20, maybe 10 of them come along. So 10 who get 10 at $3,200 on a second level, if you just stopped right there, that's $348,000 a year in residual income. That's nuts. That's, that's life changing. I mean, think of all the missions, all the um, organizations, all the family things. Like, 
the sky's the limit. God could do so many things with your openness to do so many things. So anyway, I won't stay here too long, but I, I want you to see it. Um, this is real money. It's not fake stuff. Like it's not like hypothetical, like hypothetically you could. I'd like to tell you this year for us and our family, we were able to purchase a car. It's helped us at times. Um, re this is revenue share on top of the fact that we doubled our transaction count. All right. We're getting to sales because sales is the number one thing, right? So we're going there. But give me one second. I just want to get this part out of the way because this is this is very different from our company from any other company that's out there. Okay. So this is real money. This revenue share stuff. Like I I got my baby Taylor or not. She's not a baby Taylor. I call her baby Taylor. She's a real Taylor. <laughs> Taylor guitar. I wanted this thing for like 12 years. I'm a guitar player. I've wanted a Taylor forever, but I felt guilty to spend that kind of money on something when I wasn't doing it professionally. Not this year. I got my guitar. We got our car paid. We got, we've had house payments. Like this is legit income that's coming in. And on top of that, you have equity rewards. Remember I told you we were publicly traded NASDAQ EXPI. So you get to earn shares on your first transaction. Um, when you come on board, you earn shares when you fully cap, you earn shares when your agent that you sponsor closes their first transaction. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that the company itself is giving you on top of the fact that you're able to purchase, um, stock with, the transactions that you close. So every time we close a transaction this year, we bought stock. We could buy up to 5%. And um, right now it's at a 10% discount. Okay. Um, that's like buying a $10 bill for $9. Why would you not want to do that? And I need to change the slide. It was 20. And you know why it was 20? At least this is my understanding. I can be corrected. In the beginning, when you wanted to trade that money, right? You wanted to pull it out. And again, I'm not a big stock person, so don't get me in trouble with my lingo. But the idea is when you wanted to pull that money out, there were so many fees and things involved around that, that it, that the company didn't feel like it was a legitimate, like even trade. So they were giving it to the agents at a 20% discount to make that money normal, <laughs> to make it fair. Right? So now that that's, now that that, that situation has been curbed a little bit. They're still giving us a discount because we're their people and it's better. So anyway, um, you can also, when you icon, so we haven't talked about icon yet because we're about to talk about sales and I'll explain what icon is, but every company has their lingo, right? We all have our little stuff that we say. So ours is icon agents. Pay attention to that when you hear it. It means that that agent has not only capped for the year, meaning that they've paid in the 16,000, they've done 2.7 million plus ish in sales but that they also did another 20 transaction sides of whatever volume or 5 million, okay, in sales back into the company. So um, once you icon, they give you your cat back. What? Yeah, for real, you can get your cat back. 16,000 back in stock and rewards. Um, and now this is vested for three years, but a lot of companies are three to five years. So we're kind of on the low scale of that. And um, it doesn't matter to me that it's vested. I've had people be like, oh, that's so? Nobody was giving me a dime back. When I paid exit $30,000, it didn't come back to me. Neither of those years. <laughs> it just went to the company. I, I left with nothing. So I'm, I'm really appreciative of that. You guys, like I was saying, when you, other places I've been, we've got pretty plaques, we got little stickers, we got sweet notes from, you know, people in the office or whatever, but it wasn't a business. It was a thank you for making us a ton of money. And we weren't partners and we weren't business owners and we didn't have a say. We we're just agents there. And if that's the situation you find yourself in, I think you should reconsider your options because options matter. All right. So we're going to dive into the world of EXP. That's sales, it's training, it's everything, collaboration. Hold on to your britches. If you're driving, please be careful. Don't watch and drive, but check this out. A world once disconnected by distance. From impossible to possible. The elite, now the common. The lonely, now united. Now imagine a world created for connection. Welcome to our world, EXP World. Welcome to EXP World.
created for connection. Now, if that wasn't fun, y'all's wood is wet. Y'all got to get out there. All right. That's on fire. You guys, we have so much fun and we were created for connection, which sounds insane for a cloud-based company who is like, I'm not walking into an office every day, but yet I'm with its people constantly. What? Let me show you how this works. Okay. So first and foremost, production matters at eXp. It's a big, hard yes. Um, everything that we're about is about helping agents be better agents, faster agents, equipped agents, and intelligent agents. Some of y'all know that that's important. <laughs> um, so we're all here, we're, we're collaborating and working together. Sales matter, we were ranked number four in transaction residential size in 2018, and number six um, for volume in 2018. So I'm sure our 2019 numbers are fully out and I'll have to get those, I don't know. But as of December, that's where I was sitting. Um, if we sell it, or if you sell it, so do we. EXP is, can do it all. You know, luxury, commercial, residential, REO, bring it. We've got a platform that will handle it. Our agents know what's happening. We have some core values that are extremely important. And I've seen every single one of them modeled since coming to EXP in the last 16 months. Service, sustainability, collaboration, transparency, integrity, innovation, agility, fun, community, we're doing all of these things together all of the time. And it's a beautiful atmosphere. I mean, check out this picture. All these guys out here learning, learning from each other. There's hundred, there's a, there's a couple thousand agents in that room. I think that's Jay and Ashley at the front of it because I took a picture because they're my buddies. But they're out, they're up there teaching. They're telling their their best tips, their tricks, their trades, secrets, trade secrets that they've been. I mean, Jay sells 31 between like. 31, 40 million a year by himself and no buyer's agent. What in the world? Like who does that? He's Superman, but he's telling you how he does it. I think it's incredible. You've got Kinder here and, and there's so many amazing agents. Did you know the number one or number two agent out of 32 states, maybe more than that at this point, have come over to eXp? There's a reason, okay? This is not chump change for nobody. It is legitimate um, real estate at its finest okay look we have some international collaboration that's happening here we are across the states we've gone global prior to exp i really didn't understand like what is the point of that like why do i care what's going on not what's going on but like i never made it a point to reach out to other agents in other states even with the respective brokers that i was with right um now I have friends in all kinds of states doing all kinds of things and we're learning from each other you guys we did a flash mob exp facebook live thing this last tuesday that was awesome all right we all like it was so cool and it was just something that organically happened as we were talking about how to use social media on our tuesday morning sales call I'm telling y'all some of this stuff is genius and it's amazing that other people other agents are willing to share it with us all right so we're having fun we're having more fun than we've ever had in real estate before it was it had, we loved our clients, or I guess we don't have clients, customers. We loved the people we were working with in our community, but that was kind of where it stopped and started. It was, it was becoming, after just a short three and a half years, it was becoming a job more than a passion. And this has kind of revitalized it as a passion. Like it's a game again, it's gotten fun again. Um, and I think that's because we're hanging out with people who are encouraging us and celebrating the wins and talking positive things into our industry. No matter what we're doing, we're having a good time from Top Golf to um, our summit that's here. Like, uh, so in April, the summit will be back here in Florida. And this time we will be at Disney. Shh. The prices that they got on that Disney hotel, I personally believe are magical because if you look into staying at a Disney hotel, it's usually very, very expensive. Um, and so they got some pretty good deals staying at the at Coronado Springs. So if you're with eXp and you're on this call, you should definitely make plans to come. If you're not with eXp and you're on this call, you should join us and come check it out. It's going to be a really good time meeting with our shareholders. All right. So this is some pictures, I think, from some of that from last year. We do have online training. We have 30 plus hours a week, guaranteed. Last time I checked, it was like one week I was literally adding up the hours and I think there were 72 hours on there. Now I'm not saying that there's 72 hours every week, but that particular week I was like, 
how many hours are there? You can't even go to all the training that's available. A lot of it is recorded, so you can go back to the archives and, and check it out for yourself, but it is live. And what I mean by that is it's just like a person like me right now talking to you all, explaining what's going on. You've got your you know, computer there. You can see all the information. You can ask questions. You can raise your hand. You can pipe in. There's so many ways for you to contribute and communicate during these trainings. So they are live trainings with real people. And these are with icon agents, all right? I love this about our company. It's actually one of my favorite things to tell other agents about it because I think it's important that who's teaching us. This is not people who did you know, a lot of great business back in the 80s and 90s. Well, they might have done it in the 80s and 90s, but they're still doing it. If they're teaching us and they're an icon agent, it means that they are currently in production. I'm learning from people who are dealing with the same issues that I'm dealing with. They're dealing with the iBuyers. They're dealing with crazy market situations, highest and best offers, whatever it is in your market, okay? These guys know what's going on and they're, they're in it with you and they're sharing what's going on. So every Friday, we have our icon panel. We've got three to four agents that are just pouring out everything that they know about how they got to where they are that past year. And you can ask questions. And better yet, I'll, I'll show you how our Facebook, blah, 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 Facebook situation works. Um, I love Workplace, and there's a slide for that, so I won't get ahead of myself too far. But you can connect with all of these guys on Workplace and have your own conversations with them if you need to or wanted to. So the Agent Advisory Council is made up of 12 nominated, selected EXP royalty agents, brokers, variety of productions levels. It says it right there. That's what it is. And what I like about that is that we get a say. When I first came to EXP, and I, I want to share these stories with you because they're real. Like, I don't know if you'll get that wherever. But in our experience, when we came over, they had um, domestic partnerships, right? Like, a husband and wife team could be one person. And then they took it away for a very, very short period of time. And I think it was a short period. They were asked, you know, people were having drama and relationship problems. And so they thought, okay, well, if you don't want it, we'll take it away. And the mass majority of us said, no, we want it. We want it back. And so it came back. I love that a big company like this will take the agent's perspective and say, okay, we made a decision. And then if everybody says, no, we don't like that decision. It's, that doesn't work for us, that they listened. I'm not going to say every time you have a fit about something, something's going to get changed because that would be bad leadership. But I like that when the mass majority of us are like, hey, here's our concern, here's our thought, that they were able to take that decision and go backwards. That, that to me shows humility. Um, it shows great leadership. It shows partnership and that we are literally in this together. So I love that about them. Um, so this slide for me, you know, back to the humility thing. I, I really love people who are humble. Um, it makes you just want to follow them more. So Paige Turner from Flip or Flop Nashville, maybe you've seen her show. Maybe you do or don't realize that she is with EXP. Um, she was able to take her whole brand. You guys, in every single way possible, you consider this lady to be successful, right? She is successful by all standards that you can imagine. She's on TV. She has her own production show. She's doing real estate at its finest, at its highest. And here she comes along. Somebody takes the time to share with her, which kudos to the agent who did that, you know, the relationship that was there. And she, she took a minute to listen. Sometimes that's hard for some of us to do because we're so busy and we've got so many things going on and so many people vying for our time. She took a minute to listen. She dropped her, you know, humility bag right there and said, okay, this makes sense. This is good for my people. This is good for my business. This is good for my clients, my customers. And she just married the JPEGs. She married EGAP, everything that she built, everything that she worked for. Nobody wants you to give that up. We've all worked too hard. Don't give it up. You take it and you marry it to EXP and boom, here you go. It's awesome. So Flip or Flop Nashville, Miss Paige Turner, she is a powerhouse. She also does a call here occasionally. So you should definitely um, take some time to check her out sometime. But she came over. So like I said, EXP does want you to brand yourself. I mean, obviously you have to stay within the guidelines of marketing and all those kind of things. But here you have... Um, you can just kind of see a variety of like what that looks like. 
in our market. Like everybody's something different, but people, people want to work with Catherine McCoy or with Jay Nelson or the Curtis Johnson team. They don't care if it's Remax or EXP or Keller Williams or whoever. Um, that's just how they do it. So Sunshine and Callahan, that's our brand with brokered by EXP, right? We were able to take what we really wanted in life. I think somebody has their microphone on. If you'll double check your left hand corner, you can turn your mic off. Um, just, just for FYI, I don't know who it is. I can't see. Um, but that's kind of how we did that. So tools and training, what do we have going on here? Well, we've got KV core. KV core is fantastic. It is a smart CRM with a web IDX lead engine, all of the tools that you need to be able to run your business productively. Okay. Um, somebody's mic is on. Sorry. That's really distracting. Everybody check your mics real quick. I can't see who it is. Hey Keith, turn your mic off. Hey Keith, if you could turn your mic off, that'd be awesome. Thanks, buddy. Um, so here we are, KV Core, great, powerful uh, tool for agents. Tons of leads come into the system. So if you like to do leads and, and call and cold, even cold call, actually they're not really that cold, some of them. They're, they're tracking through your system and it's so sticky. It just takes things in and it scrubs it and it puts it out there for you. And there's tons of training on how to use this tool so that it works for you. We like to use it with our listings. We boost our listings and it automatically sends notifications to our seller that people are looking at their listing and our seller loves that. So <clears throat> there's a lot of ways to use the system and, and you should do that. Skyslope is great. It's fantastic. We take all of our transactions, we shove them in there and they get sent to our broker team and they review it. Yes, we have brokers. And this is the point in the call that I always try to make at this slide. We do have brokers. Every state has its own broker and they have a team typically of other associate type brokers with them that are helping to manage and navigate all of the calls that are coming in. And if you need access, you've got access. You can go in the world. They have office hours in there. You can go on Facebook Messenger and, or not Facebook, Workplace Messenger by Facebook. Message them there. There's so many ways to contact them and have a real conversation. You can get on a Zoom call like this if you need to. There's ways. So, but as far as our transactions go, they go into Skyslope. They are reviewed and then we get the client and we move on. If there's an issue, then they say, hey, you know, you need to do X, Y, and Z, and we go from there. So this is really helping us to run our business efficiently and effectively, and I don't have to worry about liability things happening because it is all being reviewed and my dots are dotted and my T's are crossed. All right, Workplace by Facebook, I've mentioned it a few times, awesome place to get referrals, connect with other EXP agents, um, the worldwide referral network, so to speak. Uh, one cool thing is like, you can go in here and you can say, hey guys, I'm looking for a listing presentation. I am not kidding you. People will just start uploading things to you. <laughs> You'll have so many listing presentations. You'll be like, oh man. So one word of advice, do some checking before you get on. You know, it might already be there. Um, but there's so many communications happening there. All of the communication from the company is coming out there. People collaborating, sharing um, social media stuff that you can use and, and snag and stuff. So it's just, it's a brilliant place to be. Um, and we're all used to Facebook, so we know how to use it really easily. So I think you'll really enjoy that place. Don't get stuck there too long, go sell some houses, but you, there's so much information in there. You'll have a lot of fun. All right. Like I said, we have real time support. Um, they're constant, like I've never had a hard time getting my answers or my questions answered when I go into the world. So you can go into the world, kind of like that video we showed you earlier. And I, I swear to you, it's like working at EXP is, is as if Chick-fil-A and Disney got married, had a little love child, and it was EXP Realty. Because everything's magical and it's always their pleasure. I'm serious. You go in and they're like, hey, I need a DA. And they're like, no problem, Miss Callahan, my pleasure. And like, before I can get the title over there, it's sitting there right? Like you need something and you need something on the fly or something changes because uh, it's real estate. Things change sometimes even at the last minute. Imagine that they're there for you. And I don't get attitude. I don't get like, well, it should have been. And we need all this time to review. They, they just make it happen. And I appreciate that so much. It's one level of stress in the world of stresses that I don't have to stress about. And you won't either. 
Um, jumping into a meeting, right? Hey, I'm going to the office, I'm going to a meeting, could look kind of like that. You just get on your computer and you're walking in. My avatar is always on point, her hair now, I will say, I wish we could update the hair and makeup situation on our avatars, but that has literally nothing to do with business. It's just the fun part of this whole thing. But our avatars, they walk in, they're there. All of these people with the little names over their head, they're real people. You can go into the information desk and be like, hey, Josh, you know, I need X, Y, and Z. I'm looking for something for luxury, whatever. And he'll say, why don't you talk to marketing? Like, there are people there, real people, who can help you with whatever you're looking for, whatever you're trying to do. If you want to go to a meeting, I mean, that room there is full of agents. There's probably 200 agents in that room listening to whatever training was going on when that got screenshot. It's incredible. It's, it's super simple. You guys, that is EXP in a nutshell. I would, I would love for you to take a picture of this screen and check out the realestatenewshub.com. Now this is a website that uh, Jay Nelson put together that allows that it's just conversations and um, interviews that he has collected over the last 36 months that he's been with the company. And he puts them all on there so that people can hear what other agents and other people in the company are saying um, about what's going on. So I think it's a really neat way to kind of have it all in one spot. So the realestatenewshub.com is that. And if you'll hang with me for just one minute, I'm going to change screens here. Let's see if my mouse wants to work. Nope. And I'll let's see. I'm going to share a different screen with you. I think this is the updated one. Nope, it is not. Hold on. Unuma, sorry, I had two of them open from the other day. Let's hope it's that. Yeah, okay. All right, so essentially all things EXP, you know, I've shared with you what we do, the, the collaboration, the equity, the revenue, our sales, our training, our support, our fun, you know, it's all there. It's all there, but I just, we're agents, right? And all of us want to sell more and do more for our families and our community. So I want you to see my personal numbers. Um, and you know, it is what it is. So I got my license in January of 2015. I knew absolutely nothing except what I had learned in that class that I had taken like a zombie, you know, experience out of nowhere. Um, so I, I knew nothing <laughs> about real estate and probably, yeah. That's where, it, that's where it started. So January of 2015, we were rookies of the year for the state of Florida for exit. The market was a little different then, but we sold 17 transactions um, for a grand total of 3.6 million in sales. Yay, I didn't know if that was good or bad. It was my first year, but they said it was great. So I was happy with it. We were making money. You know, We didn't have to sell our house for that to happen. So that was like a good thing, right? Can you guys see this, by the way? Did I do this right? Somebody thumbs up? Yes? No? Y'all can see the numbers? You can see the numbers. Okay, thank you. Sorry. I just make sure I'm not talking aimlessly here. Um, so that was in 2015. 2016, we did 25 transactions. And I say we because my husband joined me partway through my first year um, of real estate. But in 2016, we did 25 transactions for 4.7 million in sales. And that was pretty, pretty cool. We were excited about that. We were with Exit with both of those years. January of 2017 um, comes around and we finished out that year with 18 transactions, 4.2 million. Now in 2017, that was a huge transitional year for our family. We wound up moving counties from Seminole County to Lake County here in Florida. We also um, moved companies from Exit to 100% company Charles Ruttenberg, um, which is where we were at when we came to EXP. So we had left, I was paying, I was tired of paying franchise fees and all the money and I was a capping agent every year and I was paying all this money and I, they weren't giving me deals, you know? I was generating everything on my own. So I just felt like I'm not paying $30,000 for that again. So we had left. So 2017, some of our adoptions, we had started fostering our kids in 2016. For those of you who got on late, we have five kids under the age of six. 
Um, and in 90 days, <laughs> the course of what, maybe two or three transactions, we went from no kids to four kids having never parented before. We were absolutely crazy. Um, love it. But that was our life in the, in 2016 and 17. Uh, so 18 transactions, 4.2 million. We scroll on down to 2018. And also in 17, notable in Florida, at least, is we had our first, we had a hurricane. <laughs> it's not our first hurricane, but it was a hurricane that came over Orlando, over central Florida. All right. It was my first year dealing with a hurricane as a realtor. Guess what happened to my listings and my buyers? Everybody slowed the stink down. Now, that might not have been everybody's story, but it was ours. And so business kind of came to a halt-ish and, and things had to get new appraisals and new inspections and it, it just got crazy and income got small. And all I could think about was like, how are we going to do this? How are we going to pull ourselves out of this? We had to borrow money from my parents. You know how awful it is to have to borrow money from your parents when you're in your late thirties? It feels bad. Maybe some of you do because we're in real estate and you've probably been there too, but it stinks and it wasn't fun. So coming into 2018 from 17, it was like, what are we doing exactly? How is this going to work out? So this, how did that just do that? Okay. So in 2018, uh, we moved over to EXP and I'm trying to get these numbers correctly here. Somehow I feel like this got messed up or at least my numbers did. So, oh, okay. Sorry, I copy and pasted this the other day and I didn't double check it. So that's why I'm like, it looks different. And it's because it says 2018 up there. So our total was 18 for 4.7. And, and then and then January, this would be 2019 right here, um, would be our first year with EXP. You guys, we closed out the year with 9.4 million with 36 transactions. Anybody can see that jump, right? Like we were very consistently around that 18 transaction mark, four and a half million, just under 5 million consistently, like year after year, even with, even with, you know, training, we were, we were that way. And then we moved over to EXP and the training, I'm telling you, it is so much better than everything else we personally had ever experienced. So um, this last year, it's been an incredible year. We have been able to, um, um, attract about 20, 22 agents and out of the 22 agents that we've personally brought over to EXP or attracted over here, 13 of them are, are still here with us working and, and figuring it out. Um, and from that 13, we've got like, um, a group, you know, our little tribe of like 30 ish, 32, something like that. So it's been great because we have a community now specifically that is ours that we're working with here in, in our market and, um, and our sales doubled. And I know sometimes people are like, well, you know, agents are making whatever. Look, Jay and Ashley brought us to EXP. The company paid them $2,800. Whoop D. Look what happened to our business. Like I'm so thankful that they thought to reach out to us, that they thought of our chiropractor. Our chiropractor was the one that referred them to us. So I'm really glad that that relationship was there because look what happened with our business guys. And it can happen with your business too. All we did was plug in and last thought, and then I'm going to be done and it's 1059. So I got you out of here just at 11 is that you are who you hang around. Bottom line. I mean, it works in the physical, it works in the spiritual, and it also works in the business. You know, and I didn't realize that before. I mean, we had great agents that we were friends with, but they weren't sharing with us. They weren't pouring into us their knowledge and their information. They, they didn't feel like they could. It didn't in any way benefit them to, right? And even though they're great people, right? We call them frenemies. <laughs> they're our friends, but you know, if it's me or you about that listing, I'm hoping that I get it, that kind of thing. And it's not, it doesn't feel that way here. It's not like that. And the ability for them to really pour into you, to tell you, you know, hey, tweak this, do a little more of that, do a little less of that, or be very intentional here, or keep going in that direction. Sometimes it's just tweaking the things you were already doing. And I felt like that's what it was for us. We tweaked a couple of things we were already doing because we kept hearing major production agent after agent after agent after agent saying, I'm doing this, 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 and this. And I'm like, okay, well, I see a steady, like consistency with one or two of those things that we are also doing. 
but we're not doing them consistently. We didn't know the power of it, such as Facebook Lives. That's an easy one for me. I'm always on Facebook. Now, <laughs> I was on it okay before. Now I'm on it all the time. And we're talking about everything from family to adoptions to God to music to whatever is going on. And occasionally, yes, real estate. And it has changed our business. So that and a couple of other things, but I'm telling you, you get around some people that are selling 10, 20, 40, 60, $100 million in production, and they're willing to tell you what they're doing, your business will change, guaranteed. So thank you for being on the call today. If you have any questions, I'm here. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, we have a great guest on here today. Our, our Florida State broker, Andrew's on here, so he can answer some big questions that I probably can't. Yep. I'm still here. How are you? Hey, good to see you. Good to so, see you. Great question presentation. Thank you. After I got over my, um, you know, celebrity shock, I was like, okay, I gotta get my. And, and you use my name in vain. <laughs> uh, sorry about the noise behind me. I have uh, the building is being re uh, uh, revamped. The exterior is being revamped, so they're de de they're doing some construction on it behind me. So. Oh, we are good. We can't even hear it. We can't. Oh uh, yeah, th that's a great presentation. Uh, the biggest thing that I, I I was listening and I was working at the same time. So the biggest thing that you hit on, uh, and I want to reiterate. Uh, is we are a real estate, uh, we're a real estate transaction brokerage first. That is our main concern. Concern. That's what we're here to do. We're here to sell real estate. Uh, EXP is all about selling real estate. The other uh, vehicles, uh, retirement, the rev share, everything to that nature. It, in in my eyes, I'm broker operations. I am the broker. So is secondary. Uh, our main focus is to be a real estate company first, um, and that's our main focus. Um, a lot of the other great franchises out there, not going to name names, you know, they, they position themselves as one, as being a real estate company, and then they'll transition into a something else company, a, a technic, a technology company or whatever that may be. Our main focus 100% and all of our meetings that we handle from the staff level, from broker operations above me to, uh, to all the way up to the owner is truly 100% passionate about transactional real estate. And I believe uh, Sunshine can uh, allude to that, especially with your state broker in Florida. I'm one of the most agent-centric brokers in, in, in the entire world, I think. It's debatable, but um, I, I'm, I'm really agent-centric focused. My, my true passion and re reason I go to work every day is for your growth and your production um, and, and building your business. Um, it's, it's a, I'm going to use the term revenue share, but I don't want it to get confused with the other side of our business. But it's creating a revenue share that's endless for the, the remainder of your life and your career inside of transactional real estate. Building that boulder from a rock perspective to a boulder st standpoint, because once you get into a business where you are able to go into, the, into work and you are relying on referral business, that revenue share multiplies time in and time out on your business. Um, that big jump that she took and that she showed in her, in her diagram of $9.4 million sold this year should easily turn into uh, 13 or 14 million, closer to 18, 19 million next year if she structured her business properly inside of transactional real estate. So using these key tips, obviously the broker is all, the brokers are always here. Uh, I, my staff uh, is uh, instructed to man the broker room uh, at all times. So Monday through Friday, nine to five, we are in the Florida State broker room. Uh, we we promote agents to come see us in the broker room. If you need a question, if you need a comment or have a concern, stop in and, and pop in and see us. Any one of us, the payment processors, contract compliance specialists, the administrative support coordinators, and the brokers, they're all in the room Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are here to help you. We're at your beck and call. We have a servants type mentality. We're here to serve the agent to better their production year over year over year. Uh, real estate is known as a, as a marathon. It's not a race. Something that coming into real estate, it's generally the hardest time to be a realtor is your first three years in real estate. So if you methodically get your time blocking schedule down and continue that routine day in and day out, you may not see residual growth um, at first, but over a period of time, you will see substantial growth and it'll start exponentially growing. And then you'll, be, you'll look back and you'll be like, wow, where did all this money come from? And it's all that hard work that you build up in the beginning. So um, I, I know that she hit, hit on it uh, a lot of times in this presentation, but that's one of them key things 
about real estate. And that's what eXp is passionate about. We are always going to maintain the position that we are a real estate company first. Yeah, absolutely. Production matters so greatly here. And I love that that, like, it's not, it's not a confusing message, you know, like, like you said, like, we don't like bait and switch. Like we're one thing today and we're another thing tomorrow. And we're excited about this versus this. Like it's always real estate. It's always being a better agent, a productive agent, um, and helping the rest of our agents. Cause honestly, I think it's a crying shame and wrong that there's so many agents that come into the community of real estate and they suffer guys. Like this yeah. is an expensive. One of the biggest things that we really, we have, we have, we have a, a core, uh, core values. And, and one of the things that we exemplify here in Florida is coll collaboration. So, and I'm going to say this because I'm, I come from broker operation side. I'm not agent attraction and growth on the other side. So I'm going to kind of uh, pick on that a little bit, but I'm all, I don't care what rev share line you come from. I'm all about our agents in Florida collaborating together and together we will grow Absolutely. together as one, not together as this line or that line or this line or something, buddy else's line or the honey badger line or whatever that may be, whatever their store, Jay Nelson's line. No, it's not about that. Once you are, once you're on board in EXP, EXP, especially here in Florida, you join a, a unit that is all for one and one for all. We're all in it together and together we grow. Absolutely. I love that heart and passion. And that was what was very attractive to me about it. We felt that when we went to Vegas um, in 2018, I had to see it for myself, guys. I'm not, I'm not a person that can just kind of blow smoke about something, and not be confident of it. Once I'm confident, I can be passionate and I can work it out. Um, but I needed to see it and I needed, I wanted to see it and feel it. And so we were invited to a leadership conference um in vegas in 2018 and we went like two days <laughs> i think we found out like 48 hours before it was starting like it was that fast and i was like you know we hadn't even made the money yet we didn't know we didn't know that our business would double we didn't know that agents would come to us and say hey you know what is this what does it look like none of that was apparent yet but we we just saw something that was so different you know just in the vibe of it than what we had experienced before and we went and I mean, I went back to my hotel room after that first session with Brent and some of the other ones where they were just welcoming people and sharing a few things that had gone on. And I was in tears. I called my mom. I was like, mom, we're going to be able to stay in real estate. Like these people are amazing. Our business is going to change. It was, you know, I'm a, I'm a believer. I'm a big, you know, I love Jesus, whatever. Everybody who knows me knows that. So sorry, but that's me. And I was like, this is like the gospel for real estate this is what it felt like to me because gospel means good news. I was like, this is like yep. it for real estate. So I'm really glad that you guys came on. If, if nobody has any questions, I'll let everybody get back to their, their busy day and things that they've got going on. But Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. And you're yeah. welcome anytime. Every Thursday at 10, we're here. No problem. Thank you. I had a little bit of time this morning, so I'd jump on and listen to you talk. So a great awesome. presentation. Appreciate it. Thank you. All so right. Much. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks. All right, guys. If you have no questions, welcome to EXP. Bye, y'all. Thanks. Thank you.